Hello, my name is Ayman, a PhD student at FCT Nova University in Portugal. Also, I am an early stage researcher at the team of 5G project, which is funded by the European Union's Horizon 2020 and the Maria Sklodowska Korea projects. In this presentation, I will present one of our recent and interested works with the title Aggregate Interference Park Characterization for Directional Beam Farming Wireless Networks. This work has done by me and Professor Rodolfo Oliveira. I hope you enjoy my presentation. So, regarding the outlines of my presentations, first I will make a brief introduction about 5G and beyond use cases and requirements, with a special focus on directional beam forming networks and the importance of interference characterization in such networks. Then I will show the adopted system model, including network model, beamforming model, and channel model. After that, I will demonstrate the mathematical steps we perform to characterize the interference. Finally, and before I conclude, I'm going to show some simulation results, validating our proposed model and confirming its effectiveness. The advancements in telecommunication started in the 1990s with some basic functionalities and services like analog communication with 2.4 kilobit per second speed and reached the fifth generation in 2020 with more than 1 gigabit per second communication to fulfill the user's heterogeneity and the new use cases. In fact, these services have been classified into three categories named as follows. First, Enhanced mobile broadband communication, where 5G is expected to support 10 gigabit per second data rate communication. Second, massive machine time communication, like IoT networks or sensor networks, where 5G is supposed to accommodate users' density with more than 1 million devices per kilometer square. And third, ultra reliable low latency communication to support applications with high reliability and latency with less than 1 millisecond. To cope with the 5G and beyond requirements and user demands, several technologies have been recently identified in the literature. One of the most popular technologies is millimeter wave communication. Definitely, the millimeter wave communication will provide a large portion of the bandwidth necessary for high data rate applications. However, the signal at these high frequencies suffers from high level of attenuation and path losses on the other hand, the beam farming technology has an advantage in overcoming or compensating the imposed losses at millimeter wave bands, making it an essential choice at high frequencies. Adopting beam farming at millimeter wave will introduce a new interference regimes since the radiative powers of the nodes are focused toward the specific directions compared to isotropic antennas. As a result, the legacy MAC approach designed based on conventional interference regimes will be inefficient and has to be redesigned considering the new interference characteristics. This has motivated us to study the behavior of interference in directional beamforming networks. Regarding the adopted system model in our work, we assume that the nodes are distributed according to a homogeneous boson point process with density lambda over a circular area with radius r. So the probability of having n nodes within the geographical area A is given by this probability mass function. We also condition on a reference receiver at the origin. So the receiver will experience different interference resources except the connection with its typical transmitter. The goal here is to characterize the aggregate interference power seen at the reference receiver. In the beamforming model, we considered a sectorized antenna model where Gmax is the main loop gain, while G is the side loops gain. Since the beam orientations are uniformly distributed from minus pi to pi, the PDF of the gain at the receiver or transmitters can be concluded, which is given by F of G capital. In the channel model, we assume two types of small-scale fading channels, Rayleigh and Ryshan channels. On the other hand, 
A distance-based path loss model is assumed for large-scale fading. GI small i capital represents the gain of the i-th transmitter, while GI capital I small is the gain of the reference receiver. RI represents the distance between the i-th transmitter and the reference receiver, and alpha is the path loss exponent. We have proved that the power of small-scale fading channels are drawn from a gamma distribution when considering RYCN or Riley channels. Therefore, the aggregate interference power seen at the receiver is given by I0, which is merely the sum of each individual interference source. These are some mathematical operations and derivations we performed for the characterization of the aggregate interference power. We start the procedure by finding the PDF of the interference caused by an individual node, which is given by f of pi. Subsequently, the moment generating function of individual node is concluded. Consequently, we were able to generalize that to include all interferers using the law of total probability, and eventually deriving the moment generating function of the aggregate interference power. Based on the derived moment generating function, the high order moments are easily computed, and moment matching approach were used to approximate the aggregate interference power to a gamma approximation. With the PDF given by f of i node with shape and the scale parameters k and theta, respectively. We have run some simulations to validate our modeling and the derived expressions. At the left side, we compared the theoretical and simulated CDFs of the aggregate interference power for a Riley channel using different beam forming parameters. At the right side, we adopted the same simulation for a Riley channel. The similarity comparison between the simulated data and the theoretical derivations indicates a high accuracy of the proposed approximations. The results reflect the incremental effect of the interference power due to the increase in the side loop scheme. The results also show that the interference power decreases when adopted small beam width values. In this presentation, we have shown that the aggregate interference power, considering the effect of beam forming, can be approximated by a gamma distribution. The proposed approach and derivations were validated through simulations by considering different channel and game pattern parameters, which confirms the effectiveness and the accuracy of the proposed approximation.